The Earth is made up of many layers. The top layer is called the crust. Below the crust is the mantle, a region of more fluid rock. The Earth's crust is broken into pieces called tectonic plates. These plates are floating on top of the mantle, and those plates are constantly moving at about the same speed as a human fingernail grows. A volcano is a vent or an opening in the Earth's crust. Those openings are most often located at places where the tectonic plates bump together or pull apart. Sometimes volcanoes are found in the middle of a tectonic plate. That's often called a hotspot. Yellowstone National Park is located over a hotspot. A volcano forms when magma makes its way toward the surface. And what causes magma to rise? Well, gas comes out of the magma and helps make it buoyant. Now, sometimes the magma never makes it to the surface through a volcano. It can solidify in the crust, like the central part of Idaho. That's called a batholith. Other times, the magma breaks through the crust and flows out. When magma reaches the surface, it's called lava. Scientists change the name so they know if they're talking about the molten rock on the inside or the molten rock flowing outside. A volcano forms when the flowing lava and the ash cool and harden and start to build upon itself. Volcanoes can form a mountain or an island. Volcanoes created the islands that make up the state of Hawaii. There are three common kinds of lava. Pahoehoe lava is thin and has a smooth surface. When it cools, it forms rounded lobes and can look like twisted rope. Ah lava is thicker and stickier. It has a rough, jagged surface when it cools. And blocky lava is so thick, it doesn't travel far. It forms blocks of different sizes when it cools. And there are different kinds of volcanoes. There are shield volcanoes. They have domed shape and gradual slopes because the lava flows down rather than building up. Cinder cones, like these found at Craters of the Moon National Monument in Idaho, have steeper sides. They form when globs of lava are thrown into the air by an eruption. Some eruptions are so powerful they can destroy the volcano. A caldera is a volcano that lost its upper slopes when it collapsed on itself during an eruption, leaving a massive bowl-like shape. Most of Yellowstone National Park is in a huge caldera. And then there are lava domes. Lava domes are formed from lava so thick that it can only ooze out and build up within the crater. They can be found inside another type of volcano, a stratovolcano or a composite volcano. Stratovolcanoes are made up of lava and rock fragments and can often be seen as impressive snow-capped peaks. They don't generally erupt, but when they do, they can explode. In 1980, Mount St. Helens in Washington State erupted sending 540 tons of ash over 22,000 square miles. The explosion created a current of hot ash and gas that traveled across the landscape and killed 57 people and knocked down enough trees to make 300,000 homes. The ash thrown out by the eruption was so heavy in some places, it blotted out the sun. Scientists now monitor Mount St. Helens to learn how volcanoes work and what's happened since the 1980 eruption. Scientists who study volcanoes are called volcanologists. They can travel all over the world to study exploding volcanoes. And in any one year, as many as 60 volcanoes around the world can be active. These scientists know volcanoes can be deadly. They hope by studying them and learning more about them, they can someday predict when an eruption might occur and save lives. Thank you.